हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस सो द शॉर्ट फॉर्म यूज्ड फॉर इट इज ओडीई ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू सी व्हाट इज एन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सो यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन which states that rate of change of momentum is equal to external force applied it means that if you have uh, you have an object and you want to move this object then you have to apply this uh, law uh, to study about the motion of this object okay and similarly you must have heard about fourier's law of heat transfer this law states heat transfer this law states that rate of heat transfer rate of heat transfer is proportional to the negative gradient of temperature and certain more factors are also there the idea is can you see in these two laws you are looking at you can see these uh, rate of change okay here also you can see rate at which the heat is transferring so it means that and this list is actually endless this list of laws is endless you can have many laws where you see these rates rates okay so it means that we can conclude this is what we can write that in environment or in real life we can see there are uh, real life systems you have these systems these are governed by uh, laws and these law laws are statements involving statements involving rates at which things are happening okay now if you convert it into mathematics when you convert statement into mathematics you get equations okay and when you convert rates into mathematics you get derivatives so it means that these all lo laws these laws these laws newton's law fourier laws they are actually equations involving derivatives so you have these laws when you convert it into mathematics you have equations involving derivatives okay and these equations these are called differential equations and in a differential equation further you may have a, an ordinary derivative or you may have a partial derivative what is an ordinary derivative it means that you have a function which is a function of only one variable and hence you have a derivative like this and here in partial derivatives you have a function which is a function of two variables so you can have derivative with respect to first variable as well as derivative with respect to second variable right so right now we are focusing on ordinary derivatives we will study this maybe later in next course okay so we have ordinary derivatives and we have equations so finally what is an ordinary differential equation an equation involving ordinary derivatives is an ordinary differential equation for example general form you can write it as any function of a variable x and its dependent variable y and then you have its derivatives may be up to say nth order okay so this is a general ordinary differential equation so this is what we will study in this co course we will study about these equations in detail